Stephanie Belflin is here now to talk about in-hospital OBGYNs. We're going to tell you what that is. If you have questions, you can send them to the doctors at WLBT.com. This is something really neat to me. Yes. Joining us is Dr. Barbie Sullivan with Baptist for Women. And, you know, the one thing you hate about being in the hospital is wait for the doctor to come in the morning and waiting for the doctor to come in the afternoon. <laughs> but when you got a new system kind of set up, right? Well, we do, and that may not change completely, but what we're starting at Baptist actually tomorrow is the OB Hospitalist Program. And OB Hospitalists are a group of physicians. They're all board certified, very experienced and they stay at the hospital 24 hours a day. And they really work sort of like an emergency doctor works. They have some advanced training like emergency doctors do, and they stay at the hospital 24 hours a day. We'll have a new OB emergency department that will be where a majority of pregnant patients and some GYN patients will be seen by the hospitalist. And we're just really excited that it's getting started. Yeah, and you have a, you've got to appreciate that when you have a problem with a pregnancy in the middle of the night. You exactly. Know? Well, I was wondering how that would work if you have your regular OBGYN and you have an emergency, would they then work with your regular OBGYN? That's exactly right. And this really is a safety net for the staff OBGYNs at Baptist. And basically, um, you know, if I have a patient in the hospital and uh, they have an emergency. Sometimes it happens just like that. Right. And they have an emergency. That OB hospitalist is already there. They can get the ball rolling. They can get things started. They can start a C-section. They can start a surgery if they need to. When I walk in the door, if I'm at home or I'm away and I'm coming to the hospital, you know, it just gives me that peace of mind that I know things are moving toward whatever needs to be done. Double coverage. To, to save that mom and to save that baby. And um, and I can come in and, and do my part exactly like I would, you know, I'm still going to take call, we're still going to do the things that we normally do. It doesn't change that relationship with the patient. It just really gives us a safety net. I'm awesome. so excited. This is going to really elevate the level of care for our patients. That is wonderful. And free many of you up to do a little bit more in the way of multitasking. And that's exactly right. I mean, part of what it will do is allow us to, um, and I know patients will love to hear this, but it will allow us to be in the office uh, seeing our patients mm -hmm. and maybe not get called about, you know, every, you know, sometimes a nurse might just have a question about something and there's just somebody right there that they can say, well, you come in and just look at this, you know, does this look okay? And um, so it, it really frees us up to be in the office, seeing our patients there, hopefully in a timely manner, which you all appreciate. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, to know that the patients are also being taken care of and that we're just a phone call away. Are y'all hiring a certain number of OB hospital specialists or will y'all be taking the rotation yourself? Um, in, we are hiring a certain number mm -hmm. and these are physicians that do not have a private practice. They don't, or at least a local private mm -hmm. practice, so they don't see patients outside of the hospital. They just come in and do what you would call shift work. Um, so work 24 hours and then they're off and, um, you know, just like an emergency room doctor does. And so, this has to be great experience for an OBGYN who maybe later wants to start a private practice. Well, you know what, it's interesting. There are two really different uh, groups of people who tend to want to be OB hospitalists. And the first is young moms mm -hmm. have kids at home. You know, it's a great opportunity. They can work somewhere between five and eight shifts a month and be at home the, the remainder of the time with their family. That's and awesome. there's also physicians that are a little bit closer to the end of their practice. So we, we see some physicians who you know, are close to the end of their practice, but they don't want to quit delivering babies. And, you know, those are great because they're experienced. Yeah, They've been delivering great. babies for maybe 20 years. And um, so you get that experience, which is wonderful. Is that this is just awesome. for the OB patients or is it also for your um, GYN patients? And it is for certain GYN patients and um, things like ectopic pregnancies, miscarriages, um, you know, bleeding, that type of thing. And the OB hospitalist can also go down to the main emergency room and um, take care of a patient there as well as in the OB emergency department. And this has to be reassuring for women too because when you have a, a an OB or GYN situation, you don't always want to just have a regular emergency room doctor take care of that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and that's right. I mean, you know, you want somebody who knows, yes, we can use this medicine in pregnancy. Right. And we, you know, that sometimes patients will call me and say, I went to the MEA clinic and they said, call your doctor and see if this medicine's okay. You know, so it really does, I think, give the patient that level of comfort that they know an obstetrician is taking care of them. Okay, yeah. obviously, okay. Uh, this is Baptist for Women and in Baptist Medical Center starting tomorrow. Yes. How can people find you, Dr. Sullivan? Um, they can find us online at um, mbhs.org or they can call 601-968-1043, um, which is our labor and delivery, and ask questions. But we have a great um, website that talks about this. That's great. Dr. Barbie Sullivan with Baptist for Women, thank you so much. And for the latest health news, log on to our website, wlbt.com, and click on Medical Matters.